What's up shooters, my name is Logan AK Spiderhands and welcome to SP Reviews where today we're going to be checking out an album, a record by an artist named Juan Sanchez and it's titled Now the Silence. Switching over here on Spotify, we have the old mod over here, it's really pretty, we've got 10 tracks, 10 tracks, we're going to listen to this whole entire record from start to finish and we're going to hear what we think starting with very young old man, let's go, let's do this. Oh, this piano works stunning. You know when a pianist is competent, when they have those little bits of, little bits of like sort of fluidity in their expression. They slow down for some bits, you know. They speed up for others. They're forcing the music to go at their pace. You know, they're truly making it their own. I'm loving the grandiose kind of nature to this, but in some ways, it's also very subtle. I think, I think it's the mastering. It's quite stunning how this piano has been captured. I'm liking the effects chain on it as well. I can hear a bit of reverb, tiny bit of compression on it. There's lots of air to it, which I think is very important. Does kind of sound like someone who's lived too many years for the age they actually are, you know what I mean? The dynamic range as well is really sweet. Yeah. You can tell it's been compressed and limited well because of the way that even the quiet bits sound sort of similar volumes. It's really intelligent production. Going up into the upper register now, fantastic. I like how the higher notes are more to the right of the keyboard where they would typically, like 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 in the mix, I mean, that where they would typically be on an actual sort of piano. I, I like that, that choice there. It's actually quite professional. I'm really, I'm, I'm impressed with this. Stunning, stunning introduction. I get the impression that these are maybe perspectives that Juan Sanchez, San, Sanchez? How, what is the, I, I, I forget what the little, Sanchez. Is that what the little thing on top of the A is? Sanchez, Juan Sanchez. I'm assuming that's what it might be. I'm, I'm not sure which particular, how you pronounce that A, but hopefully I have, I've gotten it right one of those times. I, I adore the personality behind that track, the coloration, the performance was very competent. 
and uh, there was a lot of musicality to it. Lou, Lou, de, Lou de Luna, Lou's, Lou's de Luna. Number two. It's stream like, isn't it? Oh, cool. So we're having other instruments involved in this part. That's cool. What's that p -p 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 kind of sound? I, I like the, the pace it's keeping. It contrasts with the, uh, the slow glide of those strings. I'm liking those higher, high melodies. Oh, they're coming on both sides. Ah, now this is, this is, it's cascading, isn't it? Ooh, switch that minor. Mmm, this is delicious. There's a nice little bit of delay on these as well, which gives a nice little bit of a, a bit more of a mysterious nature to it, right? Sort of a slight, slight increase in intensity of the overall matter without it getting, again, really great post-production. I'm liking how we're continuing to ascend throughout this progression, even if there are sort of minor key changes. Or are these arpeggios? I mean, I know I know there are arpeggios. Don't get me wrong. It's just I'm wondering if they're sort of playing around with the the bass line in terms of yeah. You know. Kind of a triplet kind of group to this whole thing. Even that slight kind of difference in the pace or the rhythm of a track can very obviously sort of separate it. I like how Juan Sanchez, uh, you know, I love how Juan structures his pieces. You know, they're instrumentals. So, you, you know, it's about finding a way to communicate the message you want to within a song, the concept without needing to 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 speak to people. And I, I think, I know Luna means moon, right? Lu the light of the moon, is is that correct? Do I have that? I know, I know a tiny bit of Spanish, a tiny bit. It does kind of sort of sound like you're in the moonlight with the stars around it, kind of being taken in by it. I, I can understand and get where that title kind of connects to, um, to the music within the track. In that regard, Notwithstanding everything else, this is an excellent um, effort. Now the silence. It's actually incredibly relaxing. I'm so glad that I got to listen to this today because I actually really needed it. I understand it could potentially become a bit more intense later on, but that's fine as well. The piano is such a phenomenal instrument and when it's played well, it can be one of the most expressive musical 
instruments you'll ever come across, you know. Juan is making his piano sing. And when you've got those pedal notes involved, it still sounds like there's like a, you know, like a main melody in there. Oh man, those high notes are glorious though. They're, they're, they're pristine. There's just enough sustain on them for them to just to hang long enough for you to truly appreciate them and they sort of flit away. They fly away like little fairies, like little butterflies. Ooh, that that little the need that da 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 that that was that was sweet. There's a there's a there's a maturity in terms of composition that comes with being able to create music like this. It's really comforting to see how um, how busy Juan has been. Like you can see all the tracks down the bottom, all this music. That Juan is putting out. I'm so happy because he's really good at what he does. I liked how there was that little bit of silence to kind of ring true with it. Oh, ooh, these little legato-ish kind of runs is kind of dope, eh? Mmm, kind of sounds like it could be a movie soundtrack or something like that. I'm liking how we're sort of dancing around in that lower register as well. It's good not just to rely on the highs all the time, you know? Have that lower end of the... Because you can contrast between the two sides, you know? You can shake things up without being too dramatic. Having this nice little slow down here. It's um it's hypnotic. It really is. I wanna not sort of talk over this too much to allow the people listening to this review to be able to enjoy it themselves. Ironically, I talk more when there are lyrics, primarily because I'm trying to focus on what's being said as well as the music. Uh, but I think it's really important for people to hear the little intricacies of these tunes for yourself to kind of be able to judge as you as you watch. Got number four, Alma. And the strings return. Cool. I'm wondering if these like different instruments represent like people within the life or the story or something like that, you know? Or whether they're just sort of a coloration device. Either is fine. Oh, that diminished chord. I, I'm hoping that was a diminished. Otherwise, I may just made a complete kind of Silly Billy out of myself, but I, I like it. Diminished chords are underrated. 
underrated. And I've got a place. And not just in metal. I'm liking how confident the piano is with the strings and how the strings are more of a pad than anything else. But then there is also a range, there's dynamic range again with those strings. They haven't been crushed to make room for the piano's various shifts and loudness. It's a very, it's a very organic performance. I'm loving that there's range in that respect, you know? I think it's incredibly important to, to have that really really important and underrated well done I'm liking these little kind of, I'm liking how it resolves the major and then goes, oh no, sorry. No, I was confusing the diminished with like a, a shift in the root note. Never mind. Ignore me. Or was I? It could be an inverted diminished, I don't know. I'm loving the underlying tension between these two. It's like they're trying to decide who is dominant, or are they... Oh? Oh? This tremolo work. I don't know the specific word for it on a violin though, you know? Or on the, the strings. I'm liking how well, I, I would say this would be a live performance of both, wouldn't it? This would have been a pain. Like, I know the piano has been recorded. Like, I know, I know the piano isn't MIDI at all. Don't get me, get me wrong. It's, I'm, 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 I'm certain for sure that Juan Sanchez is definitely performing the piano here. Uh, Sanchez, sorry. I was just that, that uh, the strings also sound like they've been playing live. It'll be a pain to try and Get them lined up in the in the midi sequences so that's fantastic it's really good yeah definitely absolutely these are instruments you can't really get away with being lazy about you've really got to learn to play them properly and then sort of to get the most out of them you know i'm not sure what alma means i i don't i don't i adored it though i think that again that relationship between the two instruments was strong and uh, I think that the, the connection between the two led to a really nice sort of overall harmony. Kind of danced throughout, didn't it? We got wool gathering. Gathering some wool. Kind of, kind of makes me think of like a morning getting up and... Oh man, this is so well written. It's so well written. When you have an inkling of what Juan is kind of relating to with the track, you can just close your eyes and sort of, sort of daydream about it. I'm liking how these, that kind of pace, that sequencing rhythmically of the melody is being kind of sort of modulated, 
kind of kept them modulated throughout. Like the notes have changed, but the you know sequence is, is similar. It's good. Gives it a sense of connection throughout. We just letting the left hand run for now, that's cool. So gentle. There also so some kind of sense of a majesty to it, you know. Oh cool, they're returning again. Kinda of missed the right hand, you know? Fantastic team between the two. I think this is one of those types of music where just if you had a drummer involved, it'd just be... It just kind of ru ruin the experience. Allowing these instruments to have their own sort of journey throughout it is, is important. You don't want to sort of be quantizing it unnecessarily. Being a slave to a metronome in certain situations isn't a lot of fun. Yeah, um, I'm not bored or anything. I know I've been yawning a little bit. Uh, it's because I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. So um, it's not because I'm bored. I'm really thoroughly enjoying this. It's literally just that this music is so relaxing. You could easily play this like if you were, it's like kind of music. How do I say this? I, I, I'm not saying it's boring either. It's just very incredibly relaxing. Like I could fall asleep to this. I very happily. I think that's a skill. That is a skill. Wool gathering. That that there was easy to understand what the track was about, easy to imagine it. It's like the sunshine was on top of a of a golden field, you know? That's the kind of uh, imagery I got there. Got Tollworth number six. Over the halfway mark, it's a shame. I'm really digging this, actually. But then of course, Juan Sanchez has got a whole lot of other music. So you can enjoy that too. Oh my goodness. I'm liking these this, these vocals and this. 
I think they're a nice addition. I'm not entirely sure what they represent. If they're just another sort of like kind of channel to kind of give this, maybe this is meaningful to the, the to the kind of concept behind the track. Maybe like there was sort of like a, an awareness that this was quite a, a longer song, so maybe we needed to have like a new thing to kind of keep it kind of like, oh, this is different. I, I like this. Where are we going with this? All these harmonized vocals are sick, man. Mmm, again that pad-like effect. Juan Sanchez really knows how to how to how to put the piano as the as the center point, as well as to allow it to sound on its own two legs or its own four, four, three, three, four legs. Kind of angelic, isn't it? I have trust at this point in the mix mastering recording side of things as well as the performance side of things. So you probably won't hear me talk too much about that until the conclusion. Unless something really sort of abrasive occurs that kind of flips the boat a little bit. I think that's an inherently positive thing. That's effortless, that little wow, like that, that part there. I mean, I can't sing, but I appreciate and respect people who can. These vocalists can sing, man. So like the, the vocal sort of melodies and harmonies were the focal point of this one and sort of like the thing driving it for the most part. I like how gradual the shifts are and sort of the energy levels and the intensities of the track. You know, Juan, I think, realizes with, with Tollworth especially that if you make subtle, subtle changes that are like enough for the listener to con sort of subconsciously know what's going on without maybe being overly aware of it, that's that kind of genetic way of why people keep listening to music and they don't know why. It's because it's little... These little, little shifts. I dig it. That was incredibly, that was incredibly well done. That was well done. I don't entirely know what Tollworth means or represents. I'm assuming it has something to do with the lady vocals in there, as they are the, the star of that show. Or like equal to the to piano parts, don't get me wrong. I think everyone did a good job there. Idyllic. All right. This one's a little bit higher and up a register. We like these like little breaks after a run, don't we? We do a little run, dum bum 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 bum
a kind of a kind of uh, pattern nowadays. Usually people are very kind of like, oh, four, four, one, two, three, four. Oh, strings. There's a vulnerability to the way that those strings are being played. The reason I don't say it's that violin, I know because I know there's not more than, I know, I don't think there's more than one string instrument in this track. I don't know if that's like a violin or a viola or, you know, I I don't quite know. Oh, there's more than one. So there are literally, there are, there is a bit of a string section with this one. I dig it. Okay, we wanted to keep that minor tonality there. That's cool. Halfway broke, intermission. Okay, part B. Okay, cool. I was thinking we were gonna go for some sort of like, um, no, we're going between the. Oh, okay, well, so that was not expected, which is exactly what I want. I want to hear stuff that I haven't heard before, you know? Ooh. There's sort of a sense of playfulness, but also like, it's very somber at the same time. I don't know if that's a complete contradiction or not. Again, going to that upper reach to the finish. A little bit of air to this performance. Kind of reiterates that original theme in a way that's kind of meaningful and kind of acts as a pseudo part C. Classy, man. Really classy. Well done with that. That's good. We got ourselves Remembrance, track number eight. Cool. Good, good, good. Good not just moving that bass note around that root note. Play around with the triads, you know? Although I don't think that Juan Sanchez needs me to tell him how to write music. This is, I guess it's more meaning, you know, like when you really accent those middle not, middle chords in there, those octaves, makes it sound like something very significant is happening. Like you need to pay attention to that. Oh, yep, no, that's, that's it. This is a song played with feel. I'm liking how this is kind of, it's kind of sort of like, almost sort of galactic, isn't it? Kind of something like traveling through space or something like that. But also I can understand remembrance, how that would relate back to, you know, sort of being nostalgic for things or like, 
paying your respects to what has occurred in the history. There's a sophistication at Is there, there's a welcome definition to the concept. Stunning. And most of these tracks under under that four they're under that four minute mark, so they're bite sized. You know, someone can listen to the room with without much effort. Just absorb it. I think that this is a really smart move. I'm not sure how well these concepts would have worked if you'd made them all like sort of six or seven or even gone for like bigger compositions in there. I think that these length of files are good. We got siempre, which means siempre. Siempre, which means like always, I think. I could be wrong. There's a strong chance I could be wrong. My, my, my Spanish is rusty. But I'm trying. I'm trying. Okay, again, I'm loving how those strings are coming back in to kind of back things up. There's a very warm, there's a lot of warmth to this track. Almost like a lot of love to it. Is this a love song or something like that? Like, I will love you always? Is this... Is this about someone dying and the funeral and remembering them and kind of having to live with the fact of what, what you've lost? Is that what this album is about? Or have I completely misinterpreted it? I'm wondering if that's it. That's the closest I can get to what the meaning of this album is. I think it's incredibly charming and well balanced like emotionally especially if it is for that subject matter again very mature sort of composition style there's a lot of humanity to the performance it's like very professional sounding without being um too 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 sterile or sterile or, or, or poly over polished you know last thing you needed it with a track that's supposed to so to talk about stuff like this is to make it like you're listening to some sort of squeaky clean pop song or something like that, you know? It needs to have some, some, some depth to it. And then the production side of things, I mean, not, not, obviously there's a lot of pop songs that are, are deeper, you know, they have deep meanings. That sort of track sort of kind of sounds like an acceptance even fighting that maybe things will never be the same again and that while you love them always, you know, they're, they're, they're gone. And then we have Blue Nights. Blue Nights. Track number 10. Hmm. Oh, hello. But there's been a bit of compression applied to that violin, and I think it's 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 a good it's a good move, because you can have this da 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 like that, and it doesn't like kind of dominate the max. Having that ceiling, that threshold on there is important. Alright. 
I'm liking that there's some stuff happening on the low end as well. That base is kind of comforting, I guess. That foundation for everything else to stand on. I'm liking the panning as well, the the string, the, you know, you're the, the main melody, the, that viola or violin or cello in the middle. I'm liking how those strings come in and out like that. Yep. Again. Like, the the orchestration, the, there aren't a huge amount of individual channels within this mix, but they all have their own place, they're again staged well. It's sort of mournful, there's a sense of loss to it. Sounds like someone's crying, you know? Very respectable effort on behalf of Juan Sanchez. This entire album has been magnificent. Oh, returning to that original theme. Sweet. Excellent. A lovely vibrato to that. It's a stunning vibrato on those strings, man. It carries the six minutes well and makes the most of the real estate. It's good that there's moments of silence after all the the, the album is called Now the Silence, and I know not to take that too literally, but you know what I mean. Oh? Where are we going with this outro? Are we going to end on, on on a minor note? What's Where are we going? This tension here. Oh, it's been resolved. Cool. No, it hasn't really been resolved. Yep. So it definitely sense a loss in this. So maybe I'm just projecting. I don't know. I get that's the beauty. That's the beauty of instrumental music is that you can sort of like figure out what it is for yourself and, and get a real kind of uh, clutch on it. It's open to interpretation. It's open to interpretation. Right, let's get this camera started because I want to talk about this. I want to talk about this track. I want to talk about this album. Now the Silence by Juan Sanchez. I'm really hoping I'm pronouncing that correctly because if I'm not, I'm, I'm just sorry. I'm really sorry, Juan. I will try to do better next time, okay? 
uh, let's just talk about a few of the major key points because this has been a longer review and uh, I don't want to sort of reiterate too many of the things I've said throughout this video. Piano performances were some of the best I've heard in a instrumental album, full stop. I think it was just the right amount for what was required. There was never any point where I felt we were playing notes for the sake of it. Every single key that was pressed felt meaningful. The understanding of, of dy the dynamics, the expression, the little bit of ornamentation, the, the dreamlike quality of the whole entire thing and how it's synced up with the you know the strings and, and the, the vocal parts in Tolworth, I think it was. It's just stunning. I think everyone involved in this from both the performance and the production sort of parts of it should be incredibly proud of themselves. I think that this is a stunning, a stunning record. I really do. The story that's told throughout, I did when I understood like the title and and kind of could kind of relate to it on a level as a listener who's never listened to Juan Sanchez before, I could imagine it and I could relate the story well. Not there was no point where I was like, what how does this music have to do with the title? You know, it's all very well connected and stylistically cohesive. The songwriting within the individual tracks, they sagged well into each other. There were occasionally some bits where I was like, that violin came in quite sharply, but it was handled well enough so that like if that violin or the string and strings had been 0.25 dB higher in the mix, it might have been a bit sharp, but it was just the right amount. And you need to have dynamic range. You have to have room for instruments to breathe, especially within pieces like this, where you don't have a drum kit that's kind of bashing away and you have to keep everything as tight as that. You know, I I, I adore what's been done with Now the Silence. It's, it's a professional album from a professional musician. There's no doubts about that. The fact that this was released last year gives me a lot of hope for the tracks that uh, Juan has done both this year, 2021. A lot of tracks have come out. You got Le Grand Bleu, When Daybreak Comes, the, the big, big blue, the big blue. Um, there might also be a thing for 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 bang. I'm not sure. Um, Lullaby for a friend who wouldn't into the night, but also for for rebirth. Earlier attempts. This is someone who's clearly been doing music for a while, who is competent with co confident within their own skin as a musician, as a songwriter, as as a human being, and knows how to express themselves throughout the music and tell a story without needing to utter a single word. And that is power. That is. That is virtuosity. That is a clinical and complete understanding of the art form. You know, it's one thing to tell someone what a song is about, but to get them to feel what a song is about is entirely different. It's another level. So that's it. That is my review of Now the Silence by Juan Sanchez. It's basically what other instrumental pianists, sort of orchestral composers, if they wanted to write in this style of music to do sort of instrumentals like this, they need to have a listen to this. They need to have a listen to this record and they need to try and, and understand what, what that means to be uh, you know successful within the medium, within this genre. Because I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I have listened to albums like this before. I think this is very, very strong. And I think if this is any, any indication for what Juan Sanchez will do in the future, he's got a bright future ahead of him. So thank you for again for watching this review of Now the Silence by Juan Sanchez. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Please do go and check out Juan San Sanchez's various social medias and Spotify. Stay cool, stay safe, and please also remember to support local musicians and artists at this point in time. And before I finish, I think that the 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 violin strings work and the vocal samples were fantastic as well. I just I try to be completely blunt and transparent about any feedback I give. And um yeah. I think the fact that that violin was captured like that to that level where it was at that boundary was incredibly, incredibly competent. Um, it was, it was, it was good. Um, please. Yeah. Sorry. Stay, stay cool. Stay safe. Please also remember support your local musicians and artists at this point in time as they need the help more than ever with all the crazy stuff going on in the world. And I'll catch you in the next review. Spider hands out.